So we've looked at the idea of just straight up mechanics of the first and most important arm, the strangle arm in a north-south strangle. But of course, when you do it in competition, you'll be finishing with two hands. You'll be locking your hands. And you should be, because as you guys know from every video you've ever seen with me, locked hands and locked feet are much stronger than unlocked hands and feet. So we do understand that 90% of the strangle comes from the first arm, and you've got to get good at setting that first arm well. We've seen how to do that. Now it's time to actually lock everything up and finish with locked hands. So let's have a look at this. Uh, you have your head here and feet out this way. Okay, now from here, we start off chest to chest. We take our strangle arm. As the strangle arm comes in, we turn the hip ever so slightly down so that the outside of my knee is on the mat. We don't sit out and become unstable. Just enough, just like so. And then from this situation, our whole thing is to make sure that we start walking across the center line. At the same time, we're going down the body. I don't want to come up here, over. We want to come down the body. We're going to take our hands and we're going to lock them here. Once we get that lock, we're going to use our locked hands to push Placido away. He doesn't move, I move. I should almost feel like I'm falling away from him and there's a danger of disconnecting. Don't worry, you'll never disconnect, it's not going to happen. And then from here, we shift towards the center line and we take our elbow to follow us. And then from this position, I just take my right shoulder down onto the esophagus and we get a perfect strangulation, okay? I'm just gonna demonstrate it solo one time, Placido, so you can see the, the action here. Okay, we start off like so, and the right strangle arm goes around. I touch the outside of my right knee to the floor. As a result, my rib cage blocks his face and prevents him turning back into us. Now from here, we start the action of walking towards the center line. The further we walk, my hand gets exposed to the other hand and we lock everything up. Now we come to belly down position. From belly down, I use my lock hands to push my body away from his body, down his body towards the head. And then we bring our shoulder, in this case it's my right shoulder, to my right hand. And that's what closes the space. Don't try to lift your hands up to your chest like a guillotine, no. Bring your shoulder down like a paper cutter coming down on him. And the more you get your elbow underneath you, the further you can bring the other shoulder down. If your arms are extended, you're killing your own strangle. So make sure your elbow comes all the way back so that your right shoulder can come down to your right hand and then you just walk to the center line and strangle right here, okay? So with all that in mind, we're here, chest to chest. We take our arm all the way around and even as we're doing it, we're already putting our outside of our right knee down on the floor. Our chin has come to our opponent's left shoulder. So right-handed strangle, chin on the left shoulder. From this position, we walk around and expose one hand to the other. Now we use our locked hands to push our body away and take our elbow underneath us. Now I take my right shoulder down to my right wrist. And the strangle is set and it's done.